If you need help with grammar and pronunciation for your upcoming IELTS speaking exam, then be sure to watch this entire IELTS speaking lesson. I'm going to help you with pronunciation and, of course, grammar. Let's get into it. These are 10 vocabulary words, verbs, that you can use to sound more natural and clear. It's very important that you are using different grammar structures accurately at the same time pronouncing them correctly. Let's start. Number one is worked. Okay, so where have you worked recently? Recently, I've worked at my home because I'm actually an online teacher. I can work remotely and I've worked in different countries around the world. Again, I've worked. You want to become comfortable using the perfect tense on your IELTS speaking. Number two is, it's not asked. It is asked. Okay? Asked. So, I asked my friend a question last night. Very simple. Use that word, asked. Okay? So, I was coming home last night and I was looking at my phone and I asked a good friend if they could help me with this question. So there you go. That's a great example sentence. You want to use your common sense on IELTS speaking exam day. Don't try to make things complicated and overthink things. Keep it simple and straightforward. Number three is talked. Okay. Talked. Slight T sound at the end, and that's it. For example, I've talked about the common mistakes on IELTS speaking for many months now, and I hope that you've learned. I hope that you've learned. <laughs> learned is one of the uh, words that we're going to get to in just a few moments, so stay tuned. We're going to keep going. Again, these are 10 verbs that you have to pronounce correctly and use grammatically accurately. Was that correct? Grammatically correct. <laughs> okay. Next one, we got lived. So the examiner could ask you, how long have you lived at your current location? So for me, I would say I've lived in Phuket, Thailand for almost four months now. Again, slight D sound, lived. Okay. We need to keep things rolling. This is number five. We're halfway there already. This is played. Okay, so if the examiner asks you, if the examiner asks you, what sports have you played in the past? Then I would say, I've played all kinds of sports, especially water sports. I love water polo. I also love surfing. I love just playing in the water. It's one of my favorite things to do in the world. So, yeah, I've played in the water since I was a little boy. Okay, just another example sentence right there for you. I've played in the water since I was a little boy. Become comfortable using since and for. If you need help with that, let me know in the comment section. Using since and for because they are different and you don't want to get those mixed up. Number six, helped. Okay, helped. A slight T sound at the end, and that's it. So if you got a question from the IELTS examiner and the person said, have you ever helped someone in need? I would say, of course. I've helped so many people in different countries, whether it's money, whether it's helping them with their English, getting a new job. I love helping people no matter what the situation brings. So, helped. Okay, what about you? Have you recently helped someone that you saw on the street or someone that you know that you love, a family or a friend, family member or someone like a friend? All right, so there you go. Ask yourself these questions as we go along in this video. You can pause the video and you can answer these questions that I'm giving you as well. And don't forget, free class tonight. It's going to be a mock exam extravaganza. I'm going to be calling on you if you come to this Telegram live stream. 
Be sure to use the link in the description. It's going to be super fun like it always is. We have a great time, students from all over the world. If you want to come, it's absolutely free. Just click the link. It'll send you to the IELTS Success channel on Telegram. And then just be ready at 10 p.m. Indochina time. All right? Let's keep going. Next, hoped. Hoped. Sorry for the first one. Here we go. Hoped. Okay, a little hoped. A little pt sound, okay? But we don't want to do that so much in conversation. So, for example, if the examiner says, have you ever hoped for something and it didn't come true? I would say, of course, I've hoped for so many things in the past and they never came true. And actually, I think that's a good thing because some things that I've hoped for in the past probably actually weren't things that were in my best interest. And they were maybe short-term pleasures or short-term desires. So yeah, I've hoped for things in the past and they have never came to fruition, but some things have, okay? <laughs> come to fruition. That's a great phrase that you should know. Come to fruition. Now we don't say come to in conversation in English. We're going to say it's come to fruition. It's come to, it's come to fruition. Ta, unstressed if you want to sound more natural. Okay, guys, that's it. Three more. Here we go. Closed. Okay. Have you ever closed the door on someone's face? What does that mean? Right? Actually, come to think of it, I haven't closed the door on someone's face because that would be really rude. And I like to be kind and have an open heart as much as possible. Okay, guys, that was a little cheesy right there. Again, cheesy. Cheesy is kind of like you're trying to be funny and it just kind of sounds not so good. It's kind of like, okay, Camden, that wasn't very funny. It was kind of stupid. Cheesy, okay? But hey, this is a live video right now. I'm not scripted. The only thing I got scripted right here is these 10 words and I'm just flowing right now. And that's what you got to do on your IELTS speaking. Forget about memorizing answers. Forget about sample answers all the time. And you got to speak from the heart. You got to speak from the mind and come to your senses. And here we go. Last two. Watched. Okay. I've watched so many IELTS videos on YouTube. And I believe the best IELTS channel, hands down, is IELTS Advantage with Teacher Chris. So anything IELTS... I would recommend IELTS Advantage from Teacher Chris. It's fantastic. So the IELTS examiner could say, have you watched any good movies recently? You know, or have you watched a movie that changed your life? So how would you answer that? Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of movies, but I would say that there's this one movie called Forrest Gump, and it's changed the way that I see the world. I remember the first time I watched it, was when I was like nine years old. I was pretty young. Now, of course, I can go on a little bit more, but this is the video, and I'm going to cut it short, trying to give you guys an idea how you can start answers when you're IELTS speaking. And again, if you want more, come to my channel. It's absolutely free. And don't forget, all this month, free IELTS classes on Telegram. You can practice with me. It's an awesome experience. People love it. And you can check out the reviews in the description of this video. Next, it's the last one, learned. So if the IELTS examiner says, have you ever learned how to play a musical instrument? I would say, yes, I've learned how to play a musical instrument, such as piano and even the guitar. But it's not as easy as you think it is because you have to build up some calluses on your finger if you really want to become a good guitar player. So yes, I've learned how to play the guitar and piano just a little bit. And that's it. So guys, there you go. Those are 10 past tense verbs that you can start using effectively and correctly. Don't, never forget about pronunciation. It's not just how you say the words, it's your intonation, it's the word stress rising and falling tones. 
If you need more help with that, be sure to let me know in the comment section and have a great day. Remember, your IELTS score dream, you know, your dream result, it can happen. My student went from a 7.0 to an 8.5 with my program. So it's possible. There's lots of people now in the world that have gotten a 9.0. Everyone's situation is different. Every exam is different. But there's one thing that's true. And as long as you put forth your best effort and you put in the time, you put in the effort and the energy and you sacrifice, you know, you take and you make sacrifices, you can accomplish your goals, not only on IELTS, but anything that you put your mind to in life. So have a great day and good luck. I'll see you in the next video.